Hello, hello everyone. How y'all doing today? I'm going to adjust my camera a little bit here. There we go. Welcome back to another card opening video. And we have got a bunch of stuff to go through. So without further ado, let's get into this. I do have my TCG player open and ready to go. I think right now it's on Pokemon. So that's what we're going to start with. All right. So... My camera's a little bit close to the desk this time, um, but I got this cute little train on first partner pack. So we're gonna open this up here. Oh my goodness, we're gonna we're gonna open this up here. Oh, there we go. Open that up, Derry. Okay, so we got some oversized cards. Um, we got a Mudkip with a foiled. 25th celebrations, a Trico, and a Torchic. Very cool. I'll put these with my uh, Pikachus that I got. With my Pikachu that I got. And then I think also in this we got two packs, right? Two Sword and Shield packs. Okay, so we need Sword and Shield. And that is Fusion Strike. We do not have Fusion Strike right now. We just have original... Uh, what is this base set? Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield base set. What are we looking for? Hmm? What are we looking for? We're hoping to get a Marnie Full Art. That is the one we are hoping to get. It's an ultra rare. Oh my goodness. This is a tough pack to open. Okay, okay. Sinistee. Oh, yes, I love having consumables as Pokemon. Okay. Um, uh, yes, okay, cool. Here's the code. And, uh,. One, two, three, four. Let's do fire. Oh, <gasps> yes. The power. All right. We're going to just go through this. Q-Fant and a Toxicroak. Foiled. Holofoil? That one's Holofoil. Interesting. Cool. All right. Let's see. Uh... Toxic Croak, Toxic Croak. Let's see. Toxic Croak, Hollow Rare. Okay, less than a dollar, unfortunately. So not nothing there. Boop. Still cool. I like the art. All right. That was all just one pack. Come on, here we go. We got to get another pack. Chewtle. Hello, Chewtle. And here's the card. One, two, three, four. Uh, I'm feeling water. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. Come on. There's no way I can't not get something after calling that twice in a row. There's no way, right? Wooloo, Corviknight. Ah, nah, it's not even foiled. Wah. All right, that was a miss. Let's see. All right. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. this one was just kind of a fun grab. Uh, this is a starter deck, Cyber Strike. Oh my gosh. For Yu-Gi-Oh, by the way. If you couldn't tell, we're moving on to Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> this is the Cyber Strike starter deck. Um, so this is kind of more of a fun buy than a, than anything. Um, if I remember correctly, this is going to be like a machine deck. And there was really only one pull from this. I did look this one up earlier. And there was really only one pull from this whole box. Um... It was the Infinite Impermanence. So 
info. We're just going to quickly go through this. We'll, uh, I'll probably, I'll go, yeah, I'll, I should probably just do my own video of this. If, if I decide I want to keep this, I should do my own deck tech on this. But I do have, I do have my own machine deck that is, that I'm keeping for sentimental reasons. I got it as a gift. So, I doubt I will keep this, even though this is a cool, uh, uh, ultra rare. That's really cool. Uh, Cyber Dark Chimera. Let me. I'll. I'll just go to the. Uh, to the. Nice card. Infinite Impermanence. Ooh, Cyber End Dragon. Cyber Dark End Dragon. Wow. Let's see. This is this is the good pull right here. Infinite Impermanence. If you want to pause, you can read what that does right down there. So that's the pull from this. It's like just under $10. And then everything else in the deck is under a dollar. So like that's that's all the money was that that one card. That's like all the money of the deck right there. Yeah. So I may do a deck tech on this later. But I'll probably want to play a couple games with it. So I can give you guys a good gauge of of what it was like. Alright, next we're going to move on to some more Innistrad Midnight Hunt uh, Magic the Gathering. I got myself a draft pack. Woo! Let's see if we can get something cool. Also, uh, by the time this video comes out, uh, Crimson Val will probably be released to the public. And uh, I really can't wait for that set. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I am mostly excited for the new uh, Audric or Odric for Commander. I know a lot of people don't think he's a great card. Like, he's very underwhelming of what he could or should have been. But I still think he's really cool. So, I that's my hope for when I get those packs. Um... What are we hoping to get from this? I have this I have this pack opened here in front of you guys, but let's see, Innistrad Midnight Hunt. Oh, this is the art series. I don't want the art series, I just want. Innistrad Midnight Hunt. So we're hoping to get the Meat Hook Massacre Extended Art. That's what we're hoping for. Ooh. I love I love Innistrad. This was such a good set. That classic gothic horror theme. Oh, I like that. I like that it was the back side instead of the front side. Ooh, Sacred Fire. I would use that quite a bit on Arena, actually. It's a nice card. Whoop. Chilling Chronicle. Yes. Let's see, okay. Geist Flame Reservoir. Not bad. And a sweet black and white creepy swamp. And I got a transform card. Alright, we're gonna put that there. Pack number two. Oh, let's see. I should see uh let's see. This is our rare from this one, Geist Flame Reservoir. Uh let's see. How how did that one do? Geist Flame. I don't think it's running for that much, to be perfectly honest. A lot of clue tokens, because they have different arts for this set. Do do do. Do do do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, less than a dollar. Whoop. Let's see, whenever you cast an instant sorcery, put a charge counter. Oh, so it's like for spell slingers. So if I build, uh, not if, but when I get to a red spell slinger deck. That will definitely go in that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There we go. Alright. Okay. Bramble armor. Nice, nice, nice. We're just gonna jump all the way to the end here. Empiric. Uh, Reckless Storm Seeker. Uh, and then there's the, oh my goodness, why do I keep drifting off to the left? Reckless Storm Seeker, there's the front half. 
And here's the back half. More, uh, more fun combat stuff. I've actually lost to this card, if I remember correctly, in Commander. Um, let's see, what are we looking at? Reckless Stormseeker. Reckless Stormseeker. Do, 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 do. Uh, ooh, just under a dollar. Just under a dollar. I'm going to set this here. Just under a dollar. Socklos. Socklos. All right, final pack. Ah, there we go. All right. Ooh, discard. What the heck? That's weird. I've never seen this before. What? That's just part of it? That's just part of the thing? That's interesting. Oh, I did get a foil. I saw that. Ooh, Moon Silver Key. Definitely like a hands down gonna be commander staple. So, so gonna be a commander staple. Get, get as many of those as you can because that's gonna go up in price. Um, okay, Siphon Insight is our rare, or at least our first rare. Okay, so under a dollar, um, but I, if I remember correctly, this is a pretty cool card. Look at the top two cards in your opponent's library. The other, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like you get to just steal a card, but it has flashback, and it's at instant speed. Okay, a planes, followed by a foiled corpse cobble. Not bad, not bad. Cool art. Very cool art. All right, uh, let's do let's do Final Fantasy next. What is this Opus Five pack that I got today? Well, I didn't get these today, um, but I'm opening them today. Let's see, Final Fantasy TCG Opus Five. We are looking for a. Uh, wool legend or wall w-o-l how do you pronounce that is it pronounced wall or wool that's what we're looking for yeah hi y'all ooh chocobo best alright already best card card in the whole pack I did get a foil. You guys see that? I did get a foil. I think I think I think you always get at least a foil in a pack, if I remember correctly. Ninja. Gasper. Leviathan. Elementalist. Nice. Foiled common. Uh Sarah Mobius. Quan. Vossler, what a darkness around there, huh? And Barnabas, Barnabas. Let's see any of these ring a bell to me? No, so definitely not in the top ten. I didn't get in the top ten, but still cool cards. I would really love to get through and show off a couple of. You know, the decks that I've been able to build with these packs. Um, and I have played a little bit of the game. I, I actually quite enjoy it. I think it's a fun, fun game. Another uh, game that I've wanted to try, a very kind of similar play style, and I do have at least a deck built, is, uh, of course, Digimon. Because I was a huge Digimon fan as a kid. I don't think I was a huge Digimon fan as I was like a Power Rangers fan, but I was still a huge fan. Black Mock Goagamon. Wow. Supreme Cannon. Hey, I got one of you. All right. Oh, oh, we got like a foiled something. Okay, here's here's a cool one. Okay, okay. So we got a what? Where Garuruman 
Sagittarius mode. Oh, I didn't even switch over. This is uh, on TCG Player. This is a Digimon card game. And this is going to be Battle of Omni set. We are looking... Oh my gosh, Greymon. Greymon... Uh, Greymon... Uh, oh, that's the premier event. Gotcha. So we're looking for the Omnimon War to defeat alternate art. Wow. Okay. So, uh, buh, 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 buh. we got, oh, wow. I'll have, to, I'll have to look this one up. Okay, so where, I'll do this alphabetically. How about this? Down to the W's, please. Sagittarius mode. Oh. <laughs> Market value is like eight cents. <laughs> wow. Cool, I do love uh, where Garurumon, but uh, yeah, definitely not what we were looking for. Whoa! A foiled Armageddon. What? Is that the altar art too? Please tell me that's the altar art. Uh, ba 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 Okay. Oh, this looks like it's just the super air. I think this is just the super rare. Hold on. <gasps> nah, this is just the super rare. Let me see. Uh, Armageddon Mon alternate art. Yeah, yeah, this is just the super rare. Ah, so close. Man, it's such a huge difference between the, the alternate art and the original. Dang. Still a really cool card. Honestly, the art for this is... Fantastic. I love that. And the foiling is really cool. I love that. That's way cool. I love that. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, and uh, if you need to keep track of how many points you spend on your turn. Okay. I got... Uh, I bought a pack for a new game. Long story short. Um, I've seen a lot of stuff for this game. Frequently. I haven't seen like ads or anything for it. But I've seen this game around quite a bit and I was like I want to check it out I'll look into it I'll watch a couple of videos get some reviews to see what it's to see what it's about and honestly a lot of it reminds me of the the deck building strategies of like commander because you're building around a specific uh, character but the gameplay has a very very strong feel at least to me of of Legend of the Five Rings, the old Legend of the Five Rings, not the new remake uh, living card game, but the old trading card game, the old collectible card game. Um, it has that complexity of, like, gameplay. So, uh, I didn't buy a deck. I probably should at some point if I actually want to try this out. But I did buy a pack just to see what, you know, what it was. Uh, so I got myself some Flesh and Blood. Uh, this is the Monarch set. Uh, just a 15-card booster pack. And we're going to see what's inside. But I really did get intrigued into this game after watching a couple of reviews about it because it's all about building around this champion. And your deck is all about what that champion does and how well that champion does that thing. And I thought it was just such a cool concept because it's so commander feel, but... Uh, with like a different mindset of gameplay. So, I did get a hero. I don't know if you get a hero in every pack. But this is the hero I got. Um, so I got Chain. Shadow Runeblade hero. This is the young version. I believe the old Chain is on the back side. Yeah, so you can play with... You can play with the like standard level mode. And then I think there's like an easy mode that you can play on. I'll have to read up on the rules. But each... Uh, depending on how you and your group want to play, you either can all play with the young side, and so like 20 hit points, uh, four card sides, I think. I don't remember. It's been a, it's been a while since I watched uh, some reviews around it, but now we've doubled it to 40, so it's like, it's like good old standard commander feel, you know? So uh, this is someone I could build a deck around, which is really cool. So I got a Rune Blade hero. And what's in the pack? Um, I should uh, pull up the TCG. 
This is flesh and blood. This is a monarch. We're looking for what? Great Library of Solana. Rarity fabled. It's worth a thousand dollars. That's the market price is a thousand dollars. What? Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow, that's insane. Okay. <sighs> okay. Um, oh. Um, okay, so Shadow Rune Blade action. So is this going to be like all Rune Blade stuff? Like this is all going to be fitting for him? Because if that's the case, that's cool. I appreciate that. It, it, I appreciate it and it makes me nervous because it has the same feel as like a theme booster pack in Magic. So it's good because it gives you the cards necessary to build the deck with it, but it's a random pack. So like I could get this same pack, you know? So we'll see. Let's just keep going. So this is a Rune Blade action, Shadow Brute action, so more shadowy stuff. Um, I don't know how to tell the rarity on these. I know like the the level of the level of it is dependent on here. So like yellows worth two, reds are worth one, and blues are worth three. Oh, so here's one, yeah. War, uh, War Tune Herald. Oh, Light Illusionist action. Okay, okay. So it's not all specific around him. Light Warrior action. Herald of Tenacity. Cross the line. Yinti Yanti. Interesting. Belittle. Oh, he's just a little dwarf. Seek Enlightenment. Warmonger's Recital. Adrenaline Rush. Ooh, a foiled beacon of victory. I do not know if that's worth anything. Um, Halo of Illumination. Ooh, cool. Oh, and, and another thing I like is your your equipment is, like, based on what they actually can wear. So, like, they can wear a headpiece. They can carry two one-handed weapons or one, one, one two-handed weapon. Uh, stuff like that. So, I don't know what's what as far as, like, rarity and stuff. This has got cool bordering to it. Consuming Aftermath. Oh, oh, there's little icons here. Common. Uh, majestic. And rare. And rare. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Um, so let's see. Common, common, common. Common, common, common. Common, 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 common. Okay, wow. Okay, lots of commons. Um... I don't know what's what. Let's see. Are any of these in the top pricey ones? I don't think so. No. No. No, 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 no. Not there. Okay. So let's look at this. Okay, so we got, I guess first would be uh, Battlefield Blitz. Battlefield Blitz. Battlefield Blitz Blue. So that's under a dollar. Uh, Beacon of Victory Foiled. Let's see, this is majestic. Oh, that's a that's a that's one right there. Uh, it's like what three bought three dollars right there. So not a not a not a lot, but still, that's a uh, that's. Um, that's more than half the pack uh, in value, so that's not bad. Um, right, beacon of victory. There's only the one beacon of victory. Yeah. All right. So then, what do we got? We got uh, probably chain. Do 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 do. Oh, there's different versions of chain. What chain bound by shadow? There's, and then there's like chain, and then there's galaxy black, hatchet of body, what the heck? That's crazy. So this says it's a token? 
So that's just to represent who it is. Yeah, so so he is not... He's worth less than a dollar. But I think he's someone that you can actually build around because he's a hero. Um, consuming Aftermath. Blue. Okay, so not not a huge pull for that one. And then Halo of Illumination. Yes. Yes, we do love to illuminate. Those are the G's. Oh, 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 oh. Herald of Protection. No, 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 no. We, we want the Halo of Illumination. Yes. Oh, this is a common. This is a common. Why was I even worried about this? That's a common. All right, so these are our two pulls from all the packs. Not a huge pull today. That's okay. Not a huge pull. Um... Still cool, though. Still cool. I really am excited. I really... Uh, there's so many of these that I do want to try. I would love to try playing um, Flesh and Blood. Um, I already have a deck for Digimon, and I would love to play that. I have at least two decks worth for Final Fantasy. Uh, so there are lots of games that I do want to try and play, and I want to do, like, the deck techs for, um, because I'd love to get your guys' insights, like, what are some good adds to it, um, to what the deck is, like, if I'm playing Final Fantasy, what's good for, like, a mono red deck, or a fire deck, or a fire water, so stay tuned for those kind of videos, because I do want to make them, and I do want to make them soon. Um, also, go down in the description below, there's a Google Docs link. Um, in that link, you can find a bunch of singles and boxes that I'm trying to get rid of so I don't stay cluttered. And, great news, those prices are going to be really good when you hop on. Um, I don't generally put like what the price of the card is at that time that I'm posting it because card prices fluctuate. And I'm only one person, so it's hard for me to like stay on top of that on a day-to-day -day basis. However, what I do plan on doing is being able to, uh, the day of you wanting to like get a box or get some singles, is um, I'll hop on, I find out what the market value of that card is, and I give it to you at a discount price. Uh, so you always get the best deal. So definitely head on down there to check out for singles. Uh, and for boxes that I'm just, you know, trying to get rid of my own personal collection. Uh, so head on down there, check it out. There's a lot of fun stuff down there. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that, that's all the packs. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Also stay tuned. Um, the channel is going to be getting uh, some more social media outlets to uh, be posting towards and get uh some shout out information to and like more in-depth descriptions of what's going on with cards or what's going on with the videos i'm making so stay tuned for that uh for more social media outreach from the channel so with that said i will see you guys in the next one bye